Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today we have a review of the SoundBot SB520 Bluetooth speaker. You can check this out at www.soundbot.com. Also, I'll leave a link in the description where you can purchase it on Amazon, and right now on Amazon, it's a steal at 35 bucks. This speaker, I believe the original MSRP was $129. This speaker has hands-free calling, so it does have a microphone built into it a 2200 mAh rechargeable battery. It does have Bluetooth, of course. Built-in 3.5 millimeter aux port. It does have two 5 watt premium speakers. It does have two 50 millimeter premium drivers. And it does tout up to 15 hours playback time for wired through an aux connection or 12 hours playback time for wireless. So let's open the box and check it out. The packaging is very nice that came from SoundBot. Uh, they package this guy in a nice sturdy box and a nice foam insert here. Here is the speaker itself. We'll get into this first, show you guys the speaker and then what comes with it. Speaker itself is made out of metal. This is totally metal. This is brushed aluminum. This is not plastic. We love the build quality on this. It's exceptional. Uh, it does have these membranes on the side that are made out of metal surrounded by a rubber and as you can see they bolt it together with these proprietary uh, triangle screws here. Uh, on the top you'll have your on off pairing button, you'll have a multi-function button for answering calls, you'll have a forward track and a reverse track also for uh, increased volume and decreased volume, your aux jack and a micro USB port for your charging. On the bottom, it has, does have these nice rubber feet to keep it from moving around, uh, and it is a little weighty. It comes in at uh, just under two pounds, I believe, is what it, the weight is on this. We will get into that in a second. They also give you a gold-plated 3.5 millimeter braided cable that is nice and long, which is an excellent plus. Uh, they do give you a braided um, a USB to micro USB cable that is also very long. I'm not a fan if you've seen some of my other videos of small charging cables. So it's great that they put in a longer charging cable for this. They do not give you a wall adapter. Uh, you will have to plug this into your PC to charge it or you can use an existing uh, phone charger which uh, most of you will probably have that's like a phone to uh, US, or wall to USB charger. Uh, the only other thing that comes in the box is in the bottom here. And it's got another nice foam insert in there. Packaged very well. Nice presentation by SoundBot. Uh, they have a tech support email for SoundBot, so if you do need help with your uh, device, they can help you out. Just uh, contact their support email there. And then you do have the SB520 Quick Start and User Guide. Let's see what we've got here. Now, the specifications on this guy are the built-in 3.5 millimeter audio port for universal wired connectivity. The playback time, they say, is 15 hours wired and 12 hours with wireless connection. Now, the charging time is four to six hours. Uh, the connection range is the typical Bluetooth 4.0, uh, 33 feet. There is a built-in rechargeable uh, 7.4 volt, 2200 milliamp lithium ion battery in here. The weight is 22 ounces, so yes, a little bit to less than two pounds there. The dimensions of the speaker are 7.5 by 3 by 3.5 inches, and the speaker drivers are stereo 50 millimeter uh, times two with four ohms. So you've got that. Uh, they, they give you some care and maintenance here. They do explain what the buttons do, but we kind of went over the buttons already. Uh, and on the back here, they do have some settings. If you long press the back button, you will uh, that will decrease the volume. If you just press it once, that will skip the track back. Uh, and the same with the forward track. If you hold it down, it will increase your sound. And if you uh, click it once, it will advance your track. So that you'll have to remember. Um, there is a, a 3D stereo sound, which will actually output the sound 
from the front, mostly from the front of the speaker to the sides of the speaker. So if you're in front of it, it will create a 3D sound effect, which we will go over here and then you might be able to tell in the video how different that, that mode sounds. Now in our testing, it did sound um, definitely um, different and definitely better, I think, uh, if you're in front of the, in the speaker. Uh, so basically to set that mode, you will have to hold down the forward track and reverse track buttons until you see a green light. But we'll go into that as soon as we go into the pairing here. That's what we're going to do first. So we will pair this up with an Android phone. I have a Galaxy Note 4 here that I will pair. So we're going to turn it on. Okay, so you get a beep when it comes on and you will see that it's automatically in pairing mode because it'll have a blue and uh, blue and red flashing light there. So that is in pairing mode. So we will scan on the Note 4 and it does come up as an SB520. So we will select that. And we do get a beep when it's connected to the phone and it does say connected to phone, media, and audio. So right now we are in normal mode, uh, just playing music. And what we will do is we will go and play a couple tracks and I'll let you guys hear what it sounds like when we do that and it'll, the judgment will be up to you. Okay, now that was a just a pretty much rock type track. Uh, not a uh, dubstep or anything with a heavy bass, but you could still hear the bass. And actually, if you put your hand on the side, you can you can feel it coming out the sides as well with those membranes. Uh, plays very well, very crisp. Uh, had no problems with that. Now we're going to play a dubstep type sample, and you can tell what the bass does with this. Okay, so it does handle that, and that was me just double hitting the uh, pause and play, so I don't think that there was any skipping to do with the, the hardware itself. Uh, it played the bass very well, and I turned it and so that you could see that the membranes are in fact actually, they're actually just moving as it's playing these bass tracks. Uh, the bass on this is exceptional. Uh, the sound quality overall is exceptional in my opinion. Uh, now, there is one more thing that we want to try. We want to try to put it in that... 3D surround mode. So we're going to hold down the forward track and the reverse track for one second and this light in the middle should turn green. And it does, as you can see, that is now green. So it's now in 3D surround mode. And I will play the same track for you in 3D and you can see if you guys can tell any difference. Okay, so I can tell a difference here personally. I don't know if on the video it's going to pick up the right way and, and, and have you guys actually experience that. But what it basically did in that green mode there was, and we'll get out of that here in a second. Um, what it did in that green mode, that sort of 3D surround mode, is it pushed a lot of the sound out of the membranes on the side so that it kind of wrapped around a little bit. Now, I don't know if we can pick that up with our equipment and you guys will be able to tell, but uh, leave a comment below and let us know. The last thing I wanted to go over is just some call quality. We did some testing earlier where we had a phone call where people uh, said they could hear us no problem and we could hear them great. So I'm just going to call, say, my voicemail real quick and let you guys hear the, uh, the call quality and then uh, we can go from there. Please enter your password, then press pound. You have no messages in your mailbox. Main menu. To send a message, press 2. To create a green... 
Okay, so call quality is also crystal clear as, as you can hear from that. Uh, this speaker uh, really doesn't have too many detractions. The fact that you can get 12 hours of battery time, uh, it's made out of metal, not plastic. It's going to last a long time. There are uh, th these membranes, membranes on the side you have to be careful with because obviously they're surrounded by a rubber-like material that if you hit into these too hard, you could rip the membrane. Other than that, it's a very solid built unit. It, it produces crisp and awesome sound, uh, even with bass tracks. Again, this is probably one of the best speakers that we have tested for under $50 at that price point. Um, and I can definitely say that this, this one's at the top of the list. So if you're looking for a Bluetooth speaker, you can check out SoundBot. Again, the links will be in the description. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below and we will get back to you. Uh, like and subscribe and we'll check you guys out on the next video.